All right, we are gonna work through the upper body, arms, a little bit across the upper abdominals, and we're gonna get some cardio in. Again, a little bit of walking. Grab some weights. You're gonna want a pair of weights that you can handle well and easily. I'm gonna be using one pounds for the purpose of this video. What you choose to use is up to you. If you would like to also use one pounds but don't happen to have them, Grab two cans of food or two 16 ounce water bottles. You will have your one pound weights. All right, we are gonna get started. You can hold those weights as we get started or you can put them down. Depends on how your upper body's feeling. Let's march it out a little bit. I'm gonna be marching using those weights in a way that feels good to my arms. Just bringing them up towards my shoulders, down and back. Again, you can put those weights down for this little bit of warm-up. It's totally up to you. We're going to march it forward. Just move forward and kick that leg out in the front. Just kicking that leg forward as you get to the end of your space. Swinging those arms as if you were walking outside. Again, to swing those arms, you're going to need a little bit of lighter weight. Nothing too heavy. If it is heavier, keep those arms a little stiller. One more time. Back to that little bit of a march. And we're going to start to walk sideways here. We're going to take a couple steps. Again, moving those arms. Feel free to have those weights in your hand or just squeezing through those fists a bit. You could be marching from a chair for your warm up if you would like. For the sideways step from a chair, you would just be tapping out to the side of the chair, making sure that you are staying up nice and tall in the center of the chair. One more time. Let's finish it out. Nice. Marching a little bit or slowing those feet down, we're gonna turn the palms out and curl up. A couple of bicep curls here. You are welcome to be rising up and down the balls of your feet if you feel comfortable or marching as you do those bicep curls. Easily done from a chair as well. And we're going to do two more. I'm going to turn a little bit to the side so you can properly see. We're going to hinge forward at the hips, bringing the elbows up, kicking back to work those triceps. That gaze is down in front of your toes. Core is tucked in. And you're feeling good. If you're in that chair, just lean forward a little bit. Two more here. And we're going to bring it back up to a little bit of a march. And we're going to walk that little bit of kick. Getting your movement in. Hopefully you are feeling good today. Keep it going. One more time. Awesome. Let's do some rows. We're going to bring those weights or hands right out in front of us. And we're just going to row the elbows back. Nice straight rows, standing up nice and tall. Two more. 
All right, we're gonna hinge forward at the hips, turning those palms out, bringing those hands right to that mid rib cage. Two more. And we're gonna march. We're gonna go to the side again. Are you ready? Here we go. Tap it out, moving those arms in a way that feels good to you. One more time. Get all the way over and bring it back to wherever your center is, marching that out a little bit. Let's hit those bicep curls for a couple here. And we're gonna hit those tricep kickbacks again. And we're gonna hit those rows again. And we're gonna hinge forward, palms out, rowing it up again. And back to a little bit of a march. There is your bit of cardio and upper body. Thanks for working out with me for five minutes.